Liver fluke is a parasitic flatworm that infects and causes liver disease in cattle and sheep. If left untreated, it can cause severe health impacts and it can affect the health and well-being of livestock. Um, as district veterinarians, we frequently find liver fluke infection when we're investigating sudden death or herd level ill thrift in, in cattle herds. Often we'll find the active liver fluke infection in the actual bile ducts of the liver and we can also find the chronic uh, effects of liver fluke as they've moved through the liver and so this causes damage to the bile ducts and causes a cirrhotic and uh, damaged liver which affects the health of the, um, the animal. Uh, we do frequently find liver fluke infection and studies of abattoirs show that up to 10% of stock uh, moving through the abattoir have actually some damage from liver fluke or active liver fluke in infection. Geographically, liver fluke distributions can be quite patchy, so it's best to actually speak to your private vet and have some blood testing or um, faecal antigen testing of your homebred cattle to determine if you have liver fluke on your property. Liver fluke can cause a variety of health impacts from the cattle, so they can actually be subclinical effects, so you might actually not know that your cattle are suffering from liver, fl liver fluke infection. There will be a level of inappetence and weight loss, but there are some overt clinical signs that producers can look out for, so they may, have, they may be anemic from blood loss, they may be jaundiced, they'll have yellowed mucous membranes, or they may have bottle jaw, so a, a dependent edema underneath the jaw, and that's from liver damage, and, and blood loss, um, fluid accumulating underneath the jaw. So these are all signs of liver fluke, as well as the cattle just looking fluky. They look ill thrift, their coat is rough, and, and, and it just indicates they're not doing well and that they're losing production. Not every property will have liver fluke, fl fluke infection, but every property will have roundworms. But there are different drenches that treat both liver fluke and roundworm. So again, it's best to speak to your private veterinarian to work out whether you have liver fluke on your property and which drenches are most effective for your farm. We have a lot of treatments available for, for liver fluke control in cattle. Unfortunately, a lot of have a lot of different limitations. Um, we have porons, injectables and orals. Your porons are very easy and to apply, but a problem about it is that they're only um, effectively taking out adult liver fluke, which we need to be taking out a lot earlier, immature stages of liver fluke for production benefits. There's only three ranges of products on the market that take out two week old liver fluke at 99%, and that is Nitro Fluke, Nitro Mech, and Flucazole C. Flucazole C is an oral, it's, it's a combination of trichobenazole and oxfendazole. When with a synergistic effect between the two, they get down to two week old liver fluke, plus it, it has a great um, roundworm control as well. So you're, you're hitting two birds with one stone. The same as Nitromec. Nitromec has a, an ivermectin base with nitroxinol and clausurin at a high rate. That will get down to two week old liver fluke at 99% and right through to the adult stage as well and has effective worm control. We also have another product called Nitrofluke which is only nitroxinol and clausurum. It only controls liver fluke, but can be used in conjunction in best practice like with things like cytoactin platinum or cytoactin long acting. So you've got a great combination against roundworms and liver fluke control. So urea size is one of the biggest things. Most of your porons are 120 to 140 days ESI on those products. So that can be difficult when trading animals. Plus you're not getting as effective fluke control as if you were to use other products. Not Nitro Fluke and Nitro Mech have a Nitro Mech 120 day ASI, Nitro Fluke 140 day ASI. Again, can be a bit of a burden when you're trading, um, but in retained breeders and, um, and retained heifers, that can be quite effective. And Flucazole is one of the shorter ASIs of 56 days, can be used very well in that trading scenario. So when you're buying cattle in, I would often say to use a Flucazole and a Cydectin Platinum together for effective worm control as a quarantine drench coming in. There's a range of treatment op options available to us to actually treat liver fluke, but our management of liver fluke must be foremost in, in our minds. So fencing off wet areas, um, not allowing animals that are at risk to, to graze in springy country and things like that. You know, young stock that can get severe and actual death can occur by picking up multiple liver fluke should be kept away from those wetter areas and, and springs and dams and things like that. 
in that first one to 12 weeks of, of age of liver fluke is the most important on proactivity. And by killing those liver fluke at two week old stage, we can actually increase productivity by up to 13 kilos. So it becomes very, very much a proactivity thing to take out those two week old fluke rather than just taking out the adults. NH Foods has partnered with Meat and Livestock Australia to produce a series of short, informative videos focusing on animal health. These videos aim to assist producers with identifying and treating common health issues. The goal of these videos is to try and show a link between improved animal health and increase on farm profitability. To access your animal's health data, visit the Livestock Data Link website.